<laughs> Even though I just played this yesterday. Coming back to it. Purely because Planet Zoo doesn't want to cooperate today. And I don't really want to play anything else right now. This is easy, and I don't have to focus on it. So, <laughs> enjoy another hour and a half of weird squelching noises and gunshots. <laughs> while, I, while I strategize vaguely. <laughs> Man, I was looking forward to playing Planet Zoo too. I really wanted to get that um that Metro thing. I, I had that Metro idea for like a good three days, and I was like, "Man, I want to. I really want to get this going to see if I can fix my <laughs> my weird like congestion problem." Well, they kept on getting caught up on each other in the middle of the paths, but just couldn't do it. Oh well. So what was I struggling with the most last time I was playing? I felt like my swarms didn't have enough, like, aggression. How do I figure that out? Start a level with three swarm mothers, that's pretty cool. Feed their swarms better. Swarmers gain extra health. Hmm. So these swarm mothers make the swarmers from the them better than the hive does. They move faster. Wasp sounds aggressive. Uh, yeah. Oh, it looks like it looks like it's gonna be a, just a flying unit, as expected, I suppose. So swarm attack speed, and oh, maybe that's better actually. Swarm health into huge spawn size, or attack speed into huge spawn size. Or health into health. Into health. No, because a 1, 2, 3, or 1, 2, 3 ends up being the same. No matter what, it's going to take 3, it's going to take 4 you to get you know, four to get there. I think I need more aggression, so attack speed for sure. And maybe health, just to keep them alive longer, so they don't die instantly when they go into combat. And then when I finish off the next town, I'll go into the wasp. Okay. Or military base or a very large peasant city. Okay, so first things first, have a look around. Lots of flamethrowers. It is a very large city, huh? Not a whole lot of military buildings. There's none on the outsides. So, I'm safe for a while. Produce only builders, please. I'll be safe for a bit, and then I can, like, go out and murder, massacre, murder, all that stuff. Probably gonna put... <laughs> it won't be that. Yeah. Nobody would be safe. Oh, my swarmers are already just eating the buildings. I don't even tell them to. They're just going at it. Not good for them. So I need my builders out here, and then they need to squelch up the place. Make it all gross and icky. I'll put in some more hives so I can produce more units faster. Yeah, get him. <laughs> it's, it's a good one. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I thought it was funny. Send our horde of buggos, if you will, to go and spread their influence. Actually, maybe we'll spread down this direction to try and get rid of that flamethrower before they get too close. Oh man, they're so fast. I'm producing so many of them, they're so fast. This is the swarm. Yes. Let's 
bread, my beautiful buckles. I might make one swarm mother just to have like a defensive <laughs> unit. Or two. That's fine. Two is fine. Three is also fine. They they produce awfully quick. Okay, now move up to here. I don't want to go too close to that, because I don't want to destroy those walls. I want to get rid of all these buildings and get as much goo on the ground as possible. But as soon as they start attacking those walls, I'm going to be in trouble. Actually, this section here is probably fine, because they can't, like, path out of there. But this section here is off-limits. And this one's okay, but up here, if they break through there, I'm kind of in trouble. Actually, maybe not, because they can't break through here, because this is, like, impassable to them. So these humans here are just, like, stuck. They're, like, just stuck in that, like, pen. <laughs> so maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, that's pretty good. Let me make a million more pustules down here for fun. I'd like another one right here. I don't know why I didn't put one there. Okay, don't push any further that direction. Come down here and build for me. These humans aren't very smart with their city design. Yeah. Yeah. That's why we're eating them. Because they're not intelligent enough to trade with. They're just kind of livestock at this stage. They're even letting me put up all these gross pustules all over their place. Not that I even need walls here, but maybe I'll put walls in for, <laughs> for the sake of protecting my pustules. I doubt it'll be an issue, but you never know. It might be eventually. Okay, the Swarm Mothers are causing me problems. Um, I may have to just move them up here with the, the Swarm, because <laughs> they're, they're producing too many units. Actually, maybe it'd be better to do this one here. Because like I said, as long as I only go to here and not any further, then that should be fine. I need to make sure not to hit that middle bit, though, no matter what. Okay, go over to here now. Do not hit this wall here, please. I'll delete you if you do. Nope, nope. <laughs> Don't go there. Nope. Stop it. Okay. We're safe. Sort of. Uh... Okay. Now we're safe. Now, just sort of, like, walk gently up this direction, please. I'm gonna send my builders up this way. There's one wall I haven't built over there. Did my mothers get shot? Oh, they did. Whoops. Whoops. That's okay. I'll use a Builder Swarm. I'm sure it'll work out for me. Ah, oh, man. It's nice to play a game that doesn't disconnect randomly. <laughs> it wasn't causing me that many issues. And the problem is specifically in Planet Zoo that the franchise mode is connected to the internet. It's connected to their internal servers. So if I was playing on, like, a sandbox mode, it wouldn't have been a problem. And I could have kept playing, no problem. But... I wasn't playing on sandbox mode. I wanted the added challenge of franchise mode. Look what it's got me. Bugs. Infesting the planet. Caged in like animals. My bugs are here to see them. Visit the zoo. The human zoo. Okay, I probably don't need to... <laughs> I probably don't need to produce any more builders right now. I was going to try busting in through there, but I realized if I do get in there, then it'll be too... Um, probably too risky. I wouldn't be able to, like, proceed any further. I have so much food. Where's the best attack... Honestly, the best place to attack from is probably here. Because that'll allow me to get pretty far in before I just go straight into here. 
So, that's what we're going to do. Swarmers and spiners. Maybe a couple swarm mothers. Swarm mothers over here, spiners and swarmers. Then I will also probably build more hives up near this location. So I forgot to do that. Swarm builders, please. And we are good to attack, so bust in up here, please. I'm gonna get shot a lot, but get in there eventually, especially because we have movement speed and, and attack speed increases. And we actually have a little bit more health too, so we'll take a little bit more damage from the, the like little guys. The tanks will still one-shot us, and so will the turrets, but everything else we have a chance against. Go for the building! Ignore the tanks! Nice. Well, that's working out great. Just run around the back end, I guess. Oh, I didn't realize it's causing them to like swarm from here too. Whoops. Whoops. Just gonna break down all those walls I was using for defensive purposes. <laughs> for my defense. Right, what if I put some walls down then? spawners. I don't need them coming from the south at all. They only have one more reinforcing building, so you basically already won at this stage. <laughs> that was pretty easy. But I guess, you know, I'm <clears throat> much more tactically minded today after planning that whole metro station out. I turned my heater on even as a treat. Not because I'm cold, because reasons. <clears throat> well, we're definitely making progress. I'm like still full up. I should probably put on attack bonus. I didn't even have the attack bonus on. Whoops. I had it on food production. Or uh, spawning rate rather. And get in here and attack please. I don't even need the titans. Builders up here please. Definitely holding me back pretty well. There's a lot of them. And my bugs have lost their speed bonus from the goo. Hey. Stop that. Turn on my one spawner so the bugs get spawned here and come up and eat you. Just block off their only avenues of escape or attack, I suppose. Go! Kill! Kill the one unit attacking me. Thank you. Turn that back off. My builders have built. Good. I go down here and build. Then turn off all things that aren't my normal units. Send in send in everything to die so that I can use the builders to create a carpet of goop. And if they kill some things on the way, great. <laughs> Ooh, got one. <laughs> you see that one human right there? Just get eaten. I, mean, I guess a lot of them are being eaten, considering there's a whole bunch of um, blood stains all over the place. Nice, nice. Okay, the builder swarm is happening. You love to see it. Just watched a movie for five hours straight. Jeez, what movie? 
one of the Lord of the Rings <laughs> extended editions. Wasn't even good. What movie was it? I don't know very many movies that are five hours long. Definitely not like doing super good, but we can push in there eventually. We're getting the floor spreading, and that's giving us more bonus speed to get more floor spread. Is that because of the ripoff or something like that? Oh, okay. Well, geez. How come you kept watching it if you weren't enjoying it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, why did you watch it accidentally three times in a row? Maybe. That seems possible if you it was for, forgettable and bad. Okay, they're they're officially holding me off now. I can't go that direction. I can approach from down here, maybe, but that feels like it's just gonna unleash another avenue of enemies I don't want to deal with. I'm spawning up more than I'm losing, but I will put down another hive just to be safe. Then I'll transfer production to my other units. I might make five mothers spawns this time so that I can get more consistent swarms out further up. They're really just pushing through, huh? Auto attack mode and have at it. Your mother made you watch it? Ah, oh, I see. Well, that's no fun. Hopefully, it was a decent time, even though it might not have been the most fun. so I can get some building down there. The swarms are definitely pushing in. There's not a lot of them. Move them, the swarm mothers there. We'll get a little bit more swarmers up close. I need the builders to go in there too, to like put on the carpets while the other ones die for them. You're crying because of how bad it was? Oof. Well, at least it's over now, right? I need titans to do this. I'm going to avoid using titans because they're so strong, but it's getting to a point where I think I might need Just these tanks do so much damage so quickly. Walls defend my bugs from attacks. I can get a little bit closer. You still have a bag of popcorn? It's over. Good. Oh, why don't you put on a good movie or something? <laughs> a good movie in its place. And eat your bag of popcorn to that good movie. So you don't have to stew in the memories of the bad movie. up there. 
Oh, wait, that's not what I'm supposed to say. I'm supposed to be like, oh, why don't you just chill in my stream and give me your viewership or something? But no, for real. Like, if you if you just watched a bad movie, the best way to like remedy that is to watch a better movie, I'd think. Have to scare yourself to death? How? Why? You gonna watch a scary movie? Which movie? Well, actually, I, I suppose I'm just ex ex like guessing, but that's what I would do. Maybe not a scary movie. I'd watch a different movie for sure. There you go. Okay. Now we got our swarmers. Stop producing there. Oh, I gotta play Dead Space. Nice. I don't think I've ever played it. Maybe I did play it very briefly when it first came out, but however long ago that was, the original, not the remake. Two and three? Oh, okay. But I haven't, uh, I don't remember anything about it other than, <laughs> other than the, the creatures are terrifying and I hate them. Okay, we got rid of their defensive buildings, so now we can just push in and win. They can't produce any more units, and I can produce an infinite number of units. find the first one. Uh, if it's on Steam, the first one is, uh, there's a remake of it that just came out like a year ago, I think. A remaster. Is it a remaster or maybe a remake? I don't remember. It's one or the other. I was trying to, I was trying to stop killing all the humans so that I could get like a zoo <laughs> enclosure around them, but I couldn't stop my bugs in time. Yeah, the first one, I think it's just called Dead Space still. I think it's just called like Dead Space. Yeah, Dead Space Remaster or something like that. Definitely on PC, isn't it? Yeah, it's just called Dead Space. They just they just re-released it under the same name. If you're talking about Steam, of course. Area conquered. Seven thousand bugs lost. Let's say almost eight thousand, I guess. You got Xbox? Ah, oh, okay. Really unable to get the original. That's a shame. I give me my wasps. It's the wasp. They'll never see it coming. Hmm. Ooh, interesting. Wasp will dash quickly to engage humans in combat. First attack after dash will do three damage. Interesting. Like it. Alright, let's see what we got. Forward military base. Okay, turn off everything except builders. Get me a couple of hives and some walls. Pen myself in somewhat safely. That. And then from there, I'll build outwards. You could, but you hate cloud gaming. Well, I suppose. That's the I um I'm kind of on the fence about it too, but it is what it is. It's it's convenient. Like there's um I don't own an Xbox, but uh, Fable Two, which is one of my favorite games, is available through the cloud gaming on Xbox's Game Pass, like super like premium edition, play the cloud gaming version of it, if you want to play it at all, um, if you don't own a copy of it, and I'm tempted to pay the subscription fee for a month just so I can play it, because I <laughs> don't I don't have any other way to do it, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm holding off for a while, I might do it one day. Build some pustules back end here. There's <laughs> so many enemies. Okay, I better, uh, better start producing units to fight back. Ooh, those wasps are big. They're big wasps. Jeez. 
How much do they produce? How much do they cost to make, I wonder? A flying buggo that can travel over cliffs and chasms. Kill. <laughs> Alright, take care. Enjoy your, your spooky game. How much health these things have? Six health, so not a lot. They can survive a couple bullets from the little guys. And they get instantly killed by the tanks. Unless they have armor. Do they have armor? They have one armor. It isn't enough, but it's something. They're pretty good, and they're pretty strong. I don't have, like, their abilities unlocked, so they can't do, like, the dash or whatever it is. They weren't expecting me to have flying units. And they don't have any bug zappers on this map, so I should be okay. I don't have extended range on these things, so I'm not really sure it's a good idea to um, make my walls double wide. Turn off the wasps, give me swarmers, and have them just post up right here. The wasps are good for, like, breach assaults, I guess. They're good for attacking quick. I guess I could have them attack this. They might attack the wall, though. I think that'd be kind of annoying. I don't want them to attack the wall. Get my buggos to make that gross goo floor. <laughs> it's, like, it's just like watching one flamethrower just kill like dozens of my bugs is kind of like <laughs> demoralizing. But they've made it to where I wanted them to go, so I'm gonna move them back over here to place down some more floors. I could get more pustules down to give me more production. That wouldn't hurt. Uh, this is just a bunch of human buildings. I don't. I can just go up and destroy that instantly without any issues. Now, what if I was to make uh, ranged ones and just send them up here? Up here to attack. That'll probably work out. Maybe. I know I'm producing too many bugs of varying types, and they're not able to do much. Mainly because I've had them restricted. I send them in to attack. Do something. It's a lot of them, and they can't handle all of them at once. I might even be able to rush into this section here and take out that building. It's pretty unlikely, but not impossible. I do want the builders to build up this section here to defend me from that side so that doesn't happen again. These ones are getting in here and blowing up these. I, I still don't know if these buildings actually, like, mean anything. <laughs> Other than just, like, be win conditions. If they adjust, if they affected the enemy unit cap in some way, then I'm more than happy to destroy them. But I have no idea if they do. Okay, bring these bugs back down here. Nice job. Bring them down further, actually, because I don't want to deal with those. Builders have made their way there. They're putting up the walls now. Maybe I'll even get rid of this wall, because I think they can range over that wall, but... That's about it. How much health does these walls have? Five? That can't be right. Fifty, okay. But the flamethrower just kills really quick. That's why. Right, so that whole area is taken out. Honestly, this area here is pretty undefended. I could probably like bust in there and take out that area. If I go real quick, like. Go, go, go. Consume. Adapt. I wonder if the bugs use up. Different bugs use up different uh, unit caps. It doesn't tell me how much unit cap it uses, but I am curious. Oh, wow, we made it in pretty far. That, that building's gonna go, I think. If they don't get distracted by all the humans that rush out of it. 
Oh, almost. Tanks bond, which is not gonna help matters at all. Okay, wasps, you know the deal. Go for it. Okay, these ones are still just going at it, which is fine. That's what I wanted them to do. I sent the wasps around the back in the hopes that they would just rush in and destroy this building, but they decided to just eat all these little buildings first. Which is not quite what I had in mind for them, but... I mean, you know, they're they're doing what they what they think is best, and that's 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 good for them. I might have to uh, make a wall here. Have them not push out too much. I'm hoping the walls just like dissuade them from attempting to like leave the area. Even if they don't, uh, even if they just attack it, I'm hoping it like makes them like, oh no, there's enemy buildings there. I probably shouldn't walk out there. Kind of mentality. Okay, make my wasp swarm gather here. Send my swarmers that direction. They're giving me a hard time down there, and I don't like. I don't like them. I'm just trying to spread my buggo floor. My goopy buggo floor. These guys here. I don't need them really yet, but I will eventually. If we destroy that tank, then their main like force harassing me south is gonna go away. I just realized those are pustules, not walls. <laughs> that was probably why I was having a hard time. No! Kill! They kill pretty good, considering they're unupgraded. Tanks, though, kind of a problem. Okay, get in there. I'm gonna have to build uh, some forward hives. Because I'm having a bit of a struggle pushing in any further than that. Up here, we've pretty much wiped them out, but there's still these two buildings here spawning and then one down there. <clears throat> and their forward tanks, of course, are causing the issues, but. They're not too difficult to deal with if I have enough units to handle them at once. Because, you know, everything I have attacks pretty quickly. And even if they only take one damage per attack, I only have to hit them like 50 times to kill them. And these bugs attack twice a second, or something like that, four times a second, two and a half times a second. They attack fast, is what I'm saying. <laughs> so it's enough to do some proper damage. And the wasp has been kind of constantly like rushing in there to do some damage, that's good too. When I get this destroyed, I'm gonna put up a flesh wall. Like, honestly, like along here probably is fine. Right there. That's, that guy won't get out of my way. And put the forward hive. And spore launchers. I think that would be a good idea, but who knows? Turn off the wasps because I need more builders in here. Get over here and build away. Swarmers, you know the deal. Get on up there. I'm gonna turn off these two and let, let like, a little bit of a trickle come in to stop them like pushing forward too much, but mostly. If I get some mothers down, maybe. We're having a hard time pushing far enough forward to build things. The hive is built now, though, so it should handle things, I think. Which if I take out these turrets, they're just harassing me. Focus on building the hives and we'll be alright, I think. They're trying to like repopulate over here. It'd be kind of interesting if I wouldn't. I don't know if I'd like it. It'd be kind of interesting if the humans could rebuild their buildings. Because as it is now, they just like get knocked out once and they they're dead. But like this this civilian here just wandered over here back up to this location where there used to be a bunch of houses. I'd be interested if they could actually like, you know, 
bounce back. I think it's a bit too complicated. It might be a little bit frustrating. Considering the lack of control I have generally, I couldn't like force them to go and attack a very specific location or do something very specific. Turn on the attack mode probably is a good idea actually. Uh, I'm gonna produce mostly just builder bugs now. I want them to bust up here as aggressively as possible. I should probably just tell them to go forward. They're, I was wondering if they're just like hanging out there dying and instead of pushing forward. I need the builders to give me some, some carpet up. To make my attacks easier. And also we might kill some things on the way. Builders aren't very strong, but there's a lot of them. An endless horde of builder bugs. Probably put some turrets down on the way, but eh, it might be fun. We got a lot of bugs. I could probably put a couple of these down and just get some like <laughs> backgrounds artillery fire. They won't do much. They won't be that effective, but they'll still do some damage. Yeah, they are doing damage. Uh, they do four damage each, and they attack one and a half times a second. So, yeah, it's something. I think we're at a standstill now. I think they've got too many defenses to handle them. So I'm going to move the, the builder bugs that direction, start spawning swarmers and spiners. And as my builder bugs slowly die out, I'll, uh, I'll attack with the full force of my, my bugs. <laughs> That's a lot of tanks. <laughs> That's a lot of tanks. I might build another hive just to give me a little bit more um, force behind my attacks. Swarmers go in for cover, and then spiners go in after. I guess spiners are a little bit faster. Probably be more careful with that. Nice, nice, nice. Looking good. Pushing forward pretty decisively. Not too worried about it. Keep going up, bugs. Attacking. I may even make some mothers so I don't have to keep on spawning the swarmers from the hive. There you go. Got one of their buildings down. There's only one more there. We could just bust in there and take it. Couldn't be that hard. It's a lot of defenses, but we've got a lot of bugs. And they are done. Good. Now we just have to clean up the rest. Oh, they're attacking my base. How dare they? Hydrate. All those are done. Just rush in there and to kill all them. Run over there, get all them. I'm also gonna turn on the spawners over here too. Turn off these ones. That way, <laughs> that way the, the little like ads just kind of run slowly up that direction and handle the enemies that are straggling. Just a couple more humans left, hanging out in the little hidey hole. Wonder if I could um, tell them all to retreat and uh, make that zoo after all. I don't think it's gonna work out very well, <laughs> but it might be fun. Go go go! Make my zoo. Squish the bugs I don't want. It's fine. They'll become biomass for the horde. Don't fight back. Fight back, I'll have to eat you. 
<sighs> they fell back. I had to eat them. They could have been my pets. They chose to attack me instead. What upgrades do I want to buy now? Uh, I kind of liked the sound of the wasps, like, dash attack? Or was it this one right here, dash attack? It's called dash attack. <laughs> the ability to quickly engage humans in combat, which does extra damage. That sounds fun. Insane spawn size. Just increase more spawns, pretty good. The Defender, Warrior, the Boom Slug sounds pretty cool. What is this? Floor traps burrow much deeper and are permanently hidden even when chewing. Oh god, I wish I would have read that sooner. Those are really useful if I'd known that. I should have put them all over the place for defenses. I might grab that so I can actually defend myself, because I imagine the humans are going to get more aggressive soon. Spore launchers, range increase is pretty good. Builders are peaceful. That's not that great. I kind of like them attacking randomly. Buildings regain health over time. That's pretty good. Offensive goo gives armor while on goo. Sounds pretty fine. Offensive goo, damage when on goo. Eh. Swarmer, increased speed. Might be useful. Spiner legs, increased speed, increased range, double damage, hooked spines, even more damage, well, double attacks, I guess. More health. So many things. Defender is a slow-moving ranged, ranged defensive bug. Oh, if I would have realized they were ranged, I probably would have, <laughs> like, built them. Has good health and has strong defensive skills. Well, now I know they're ranged. I guess I'll start going towards that. So everybody in the swarm gets one more health. What do we got? Creepy technology center. Which one's weakest? The human garbage village. Okay, we got the, the music. The different music. Ooh, big towers. Large human houses. This towering building provides shelter for swarms of disgusting humans. Please. I don't have very much room, so I am going to build a bunch of pustules because I need production. I need lots of swarmers. And then probably a pretty decent number of wasps, because I think the wasps would be pretty strong. Just bust in there. Ooh, what are you? You're new. Commando. Human commando. Fast, strong, dangerous human. 20 health, 7 damage. 5 range. 5 armor. Uh-oh. Space Marines. I'll shoot. They're just getting blasted every second they spawn. Those turrets are outranging me by a lot. Are they still range 9? They are, yeah. I thought they might have increased their range because of how aggressively they're taking me out at this distance, but I guess not. This is not what I meant. Builders, please. Okay, this will give me a good amount of food. I need to make sure not to just open both of these, because if I can only take on one at a time... This one's smaller, or more condensed at least. Probably be easier to manage. I'm gonna build some of these here. So I can have like them go straight from here down to there. I'll stop producing these. And stop producing builders. Because they'll probably manage just fine at this stage. I do however need more nutrient pustules. I, I seem to be hurting for food here. Let me get some more. 
just fill every available space with them. Actually, you know what? Just keep on building builders. Give me some more... more pustules. There you go, that's enough. That's enough builders. I maxed out my swarm size immediately. I'm producing so many so quickly that I can instantly fill my entire swarm size. Maybe I should try to expand the carpet a bit. There's a lot of turrets, but I think I could probably get a few in there. Okay. Those are all disabled. Turn the builders back on and just go for it. Try to get me some carpets built before you all perish. Actually, we're gonna get pretty far before it becomes an issue. Actually, we might just push in and eat them all. Uh, give me some floor traps, now that I've upgraded these. He's gonna start rushing at me. And they're permanently hidden, apparently, so they won't get murdered when they eat people. I think flamethrowers can still hit them inadvertently, but I should be okay. Yeah, see, the flamethrowers are still hitting them because they're all flaming bugs. Uh, I think we're okay. Trying to get that carpet as far up as I can. I'm gonna turn off these ones. And do the same thing over on this side. Well, actually, maybe I'll leave those ones. Put this back on. And turn off builders. <laughs> Give me some swarm wasps. Swarmers, that's what I was saying. So I want swarmers and wasps. Got pretty far into their base, considering. Okay, swarmers, attack. And when you start getting shot, I'll send in the wasps. Ah. They've attacked my base. That'll be enough. Yeesh. Okay, we're having trouble here. Apparently, <laughs> they're not able to push in very far. Not getting murdered instantly. Yeah, uh, we're not. Oh, we're not producing enough food. That's the reason. We still don't have the food production necessary to have a swarm this large. Actually, I think there is an upgrade that makes it so the humans give me more food. I don't have it by default, but I can upgrade, I think, to consume the humans for extra nutrients. It's a good plan. I should do it. This is actually probably a bad spot. I think, these, I think this is far enough forward to get shots. Let's leave the... Builders off, spiners on. Humans aren't doing super well. I might have to build some defenses here to like stop the humans just pushing in my base. Yeah, they're really like holding out. I wonder how I'm meant to push through here. Because it's still having the same issue. I'm still producing like less than I should be. I need more pustules, I guess. Go, spiners, go. We're not gonna be able to push forward. The uh, the new upgraded units, I can't really tell if they're doing much, or if it's just that there's so many units conglomerating together here. So many, like, grouping together in one location causing me problems, because I am getting kills here and there, like that's the red blood stains, but they keep producing so many, that it might just be difficult to get me further out. I 
can't tell what the range is on those turrets, but I'm going to assume it's right there. Okay, just build builders for now. Get as much pustules as I can manage. They can't seem to push forward any. Is a shame. I don't have anything like stronger than my swarmers, though. I have titans, I guess. I could use the titans. I might do that. But they use a lot of food. And I don't have a lot of food. <laughs> Pushing in. Sometimes it's zoomy like that. Hey, Virgil. How you doing? Yeah, I do want the wasps to be soon too. Give me a couple of mothers so I can get like some extra bonus attacks in. Oh no! Wow, those things kill fast. Well, that worked out well. Just had to build up enough of a defense and let them push into my base with all their best units. It was definitely intentional. It was a tactic, you see. Probably just do it again here, honestly. A lot of wasps. Ah, oh, but now I've unleashed them to attack me. How confused Fishy would be if they showed up today to see Planet Zoo in Xenocide Edition. I did try to play Planet Zoo earlier, but it kept on kicking me out of franchise mode. So I just switched games. Unfortunately. I'm hoping that next week it resolves itself. If it doesn't, I'll have to make a new zoo, I think solve the issue I'm having. Which is a shame, because I was really liking that zoo. But, you know, if it is the only way, then it's the only way. Okay, stop spawning these. Get everything stuck together over here. I gotta put them here instead. Just the little humans destroying my entire area. You make a new zoo, you can make it completely underground. I could. It's kind of a nightmare to build underground because <laughs> the camera likes to pop up to the surface constantly. It might be kind of fun. If not necessarily entirely underground, I could probably make it so that it's um sort of like um you know like a big bowl or something like a big divot or crater. That might be fun. Okay, send in the Swarmers, the Titans, and when they engage in combat, I'm gonna send in the bees. 
go. Yeah. Sting. Take it only nocturnal animals. I don't have very many nocturnal animals, unfortunately. <laughs> There's. This is gonna sound. This is gonna be surprising. There's a nocturnal pack. <laughs> for uh, for zoo animals. With crims, basically. Yeah, I don't know. Wow, there's a lot of enemies just like busting me down. What am I gonna do? Probably make a wall here to stop them getting out quickly. And turn on that so I can kill those two humans just attacking my village. My little, like, enclosure. Whatever you call this place. We're pushing in. Not super effectively, but it's kind of working. Sort of. We're producing enough food and kind of barely managing to get all we need going. This mission's only gonna give me one um, bonus upgrade point as well. So I'm wondering. I was supposed to expect differently this stage, because <laughs> it feels like this is a pretty difficult mission, all things considered. But maybe it's not. Who knows? Maybe I'm just bad at games. But definitely they've lost their final base, so now it's just a now it's just a whenever. They're, they're, now it's just they're gonna die eventually. I can just wait for it. I can spawn a million wasps and just have them flood the area. My killer wasps. Beautiful bugs. Yes, kill them all. <laughs> I lost 8,000 bugs on that. Wow. Alright, what do I wanna level up now? I want to go towards the the defender bug, but I don't know if that's what I should get right now. It's going to give me adrenaline, which increases movement speed of all bugs. That might be good. But I could get the one that makes it so humans give me nutrients. And when I destroy buildings, I get nutrients. Ah, but the defender seems pretty good. I'm going to go for defender. I can't get it yet, but next time. Get a little bit more speed now. We're going to the high-tech human city. They're defending. Uh-oh, this is actually going to be kind of rough. Need more hives, clearly. Uh, produce nothing except builders, please. Wow, this is a really defensive area. A lot of civilians over here with nothing defending them. That gives me more room to expand, but it also opens up more avenues of attack. Because I can send wasps over here to finish off all these guys. Then if I accidentally blow up this wall, then they can just attack me from here. Same with this, like, I can just go straight down here into this area, and there's not that much defenses right now, but it will, will build up pretty quickly. Two titans and a bunch of pustules. Let's hope for the best. And the builders will build, as is their purview. Luckily, it's a pretty defensible location, generally speaking. If I stay in this area and bust out through here instead of going over here, um, I will have the capacity to like handle any threats that come at me because I have choke point there. So that's something. And once my builders hit max capacity, I'll send them in to just either destroy that barrier or give me some carpets on the way. Alright. Go. Fight for me, my dear sweet buggos. Tear down their walls. Feast on their blood. With your proboscis. I 
actually don't want that wall destroyed. <laughs> don't mind. That wall is actually kind of valuable to me. It helps me not get attacked. Okay, everybody up here now, please. Stop it. Stop it. Thank you. I'm glad you're I'm glad it died, because otherwise it was just gonna like open up a, an avenue of attack I didn't want. They're outranging me by a lot. Why are you outranging me so much? You have attack range four. Aren't these four point five? Oh yeah, four point five. This is a one tile wall, so obviously they're outranging me. I'm put up some floor traps here. That'll help, sort of. Is it wall terror? This is like Xenonauts, but less birds meetings. Yeah, well, I don't know. What if these are all birds meetings? A lot of them. I'll make more pushed for me. Feed upon. These have 4.5 range. I should probably put another row of floor traps there so that they rush into the floor trap, get eaten, and then it shoots them. Like that. The builders are just going for it. Alright, this is going to be kind of a hard push, but it's not very well defended yet. And I have titans. Let me turn off these, put on swarmers, mothers, and wasps. Actually, turn off the wasps and use the, the shooters for now. Oh, the wasps are pretty good, though, aren't they? Send send the defensive bugs in the wall the, the builder bugs if you will make me a carpet of their flesh and blood. That way I get that speed boost. Can't even name a titan after birds meeting. No, wait, not build them all. Trying it will be done. Yeah, I can send I can send the wasps into here to deal with that tank and those those humans. Ideally, of course. Whether they adhere to my instructions or not is to be seen, but... <laughs> you know, it'd be nice if they actually did. Okay, they've out they're outranging my turret. My... yeah, that's fine. I'm mostly focusing on this right now. How much health does that have left? 14? Well, less now. 12. Okay, we're gonna leave that alone. Uh, alright. Just bust in there with everything. Yeah, get in there. The mothers can stay back a bit. Everything else can rush straight in. The Titans are just getting shot. Bad. But they do decent damage, so. Even though they've taken a lot of hits, they're, making, they're doing work. need them to trash these buildings, please. That building there and this building here. Titans are so strong. It really feels kind of busted to use them as often as I do, but like, they're so strong. It's, it's hard to not use them. Don't break down that wall. I'm not ready yet. Don't break down that wall. I'm not ready yet. No! I guess I could just destroy them so they don't break down the wall. Just go in front of the buildings. Kind of reminds you of that bloody monster game played on Halloween. Oh, like uh, Carrion, you mean? Kind of. A little bit less flesh beasts and more bugs, but yeah. It's a similar idea. Lots of human eating. Stay back. And builder bugs down here. It's back on. Wasps can just hang out here for now. I don't need them to do anything. <laughs> Made a Valheim mistake and summoned the Elder and have regrets. Oh! Really? 
<laughs> are you uh are you do you think you'll be able to handle it or is it is it just gonna be murdering you real bad like did you build it like did you summon it near your base or something can you summon it near your base Fortunately, okay, good. <laughs> It'd be kind of rough otherwise. Petition for me to summon the Elder in my next game. I mean, yeah, sure. I beat it once, I can beat it again. Scumbag. Can they own the forest or whatever? Might have to turn on wasps now. Move the mothers up. Move the builders up as well. I want the builders to spread more floors for me. I even put a flesh wall down right here. With my backup guns. Maybe it's better to put the guns out the front of the wall until I get the the bonus to range. Now let's put the bugs up here, I guess. I had intended to have these wasps rush into here and destroy all these, but the game has decided to shoot my wasps as soon as they spawn. So let me put them up there instead. Builder bugs. Like watching games where you get chased by the big nasty. <laughs> yeah, I guess that makes sense. Alien isolation was similar. You don't think you're powerful enough for this? You can only do trolls through kiting and arrows. There's a troll here. Oh god. <laughs> I, I don't imagine they want to fight amongst each other, do they? Oh, that's so many wasps. How many wasps do I even have? 85? 87? Nope. Ugh. Go, my wasps. Kill the humans. Eradicate their domiciles. Destroy their hives. Only our hives may live. They are a plague. An invasive species of their own right. Eliminate them. Yes. I just realized that I actually can't do anything up here. I was thinking about building up here and like attacking from there, but I can't get there because I don't have any builders that can get around. I'd have to like go through here, destroy this wall, and then climb up there to build. Okay, move the wasp back. Move them up here actually, put them back where they were. Builders are building. I don't know if I want to produce any more of them. They're not really useful at this stage. Mothers, I might need a couple more of them get the swarmers on the way without me having to produce swarmers constantly. Well, anyway, have you upgraded all your weapons and stuff? And I don't know. I don't really have any other advice. Because I know that um, I had a really hard time fighting it, but I did get it eventually through using clever tactics and, you know, fire arrows. It is made of wood after all. But I don't know. I can't help, I'm afraid. It's going to be rough. A rough fight. Oh. Okay, my wasps are ready to go. I'm just gonna send them back in. Back, Simpin. How you doing? Got medium upgraded bronze weapons and fire arrows. Oh, okay. Are you utilizing your dodge? Your Dark Souls dodge roll? For maximum evasion from New Bursh. All attack! Go! Go! Kill! 
Defend! They're, they're pushing in too close to my base. Yeah, I do want I want the builders to go in there actually, and that way they can build the carpet so I can get more attack avenues. They're very bad at dodging. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not great at it either. You think you made a few people rage? That's not good. The attacks are doing something. They're not working per se. They have too many uh, too many guys can, like like all together just like ready to defend against my attacks. I might go full on builder build or builder production and try to rush in again to get some more floors down. The rebound dodge, that's part of the problem I forgot. Oh you rebound it, so you're not it's not on like the block and space bar or whatever it was by default. in the finals and think people didn't like that because you were close. Didn't see much. You rebound block. Oh. Instead of right click. Yeah, it's getting cool. Okay. I just realized I wasn't producing any units this whole time. I just was sitting here. <laughs> Builders, help. Kill. I forgot to start spawning you. Was middle mouse button, which is ridiculous. I think middle mouse button's your alternate attack. I think block is right click. Maybe, maybe I bound rebounded when I first launched the game. Regardless, if it was middle mouse button, that's a terrible button for blocking. <laughs> Still blame Twitch. Yeah, well. Yeah. <laughs> Stop attacking me. It's mean. All I'm doing is living over here, you know? Hydrate. That was a weird sound for my water bottle to make. I shook it to, uh, to announce that I was drinking from it, and it made a, like, what sounded like a, a marble or something inside of it. Like a ball, solid object, some description. Okay, I think I think my uh, my builder spam isn't working. I was making some progress, but they're also making progress. I don't like it. What I need to do is try and force them to run as far forward as possible. Turn on attack as well, just to maybe get a little bit further. Yeah, they get wiped out pretty much immediately as soon as they get to like this edge. Too many units attacking all at once. You gotta go? I fought with my zoo. Alright, take care. Thanks for hanging out, Bert. Okay, builder spam is not working, so. Turn on all the others. <clears throat> I wonder how I can handle this. There's too many tanks, I think is the issue. I might have to mass produce Titan eggs at this stage. Just to like have a chance at pushing through. He's getting healed. You're just leaving? Yeah, probably a good idea. Still mad 30 minutes into your stream you were muted? Yeah, well, I mean it's alright. At least you discovered it. You know. At some point. Hmm. 
Maybe you'll come back here when you learn how to dodge under block. Maybe. Definitely dodging helped me a lot. Maybe blocking is a better option. But dodging is how I lived it. I dodged and I ran and I shot arrows a lot. I think I shot, I ended up using like 50 or 60 arrows, I think. It was a lot. But I got there in the end. So now I can try and rush forward again. I'm gonna move everybody forward and then the mothers can stay back. Builders can probably put down some traps just to like annoy the populace. <laughs> Provided they can get over there and put them down before they all the all the supporting units die. Which doesn't look like it's gonna happen. But we are getting some of them down. This will help me to stay alive a bit longer. Don't forget to spawn some units. Yeah. I won't forget this time. Probably. I kind of want to just fill this whole area here with, like, the carnivorous plants. Because <laughs> things keep walking through there, which is really annoying me. They're not, like, a huge threat, because they do get eaten by this group of plants, but, like... If, they're, if the plants are full, they can't eat any more. So I do need to, like, <laughs> put some more down. I don't think tanks can be eaten, either. There, now this is like a no-man's land. If they try to walk through here, they'll just get eaten. I might spawn wasps and go up here. Uh, turn on these. Spawn wasps. Builders are doing all right, but they're not doing great. They're getting around. They're building those traps that I wanted them to build, so it's working sort of. One of the very I have I have very few gripes about Valheim so far. I like it a lot, but there is one thing I dislike, and it's that you lose your skill points on death. I mean, it makes perfect sense, but I don't like it. it kind of bothers me. I worked hard to get those skill points. Gosh darn it! They take them away when I die. Inconsiderate game. A wasp swarm. <laughs> it's there's so many wasps. Overwhelming wasp firepower. Wasp power? Stinger power? So many wasps! I just mass produced wasps. That's great. Wasp form. How many times can I say wasp in one, one, one sentence? You know? it's, it's, I mean, it worked pretty well. I did get one of their buildings down. I might have to like hang out in the, the, the chewing zone, the mouth, the mouth, mouth house over here. Keep mass producing everything. Maybe even move the mothers in so they don't take up some of my spawn. I suppose I can also move in the uh, swarmers. So many wasps. I'm excited to use them when I hit 250. I did some walls accidentally. Wasps. Kill. Well, I mean, like, it's, it's pretty strong. They get, they get a real, <laughs> a real spearhead. And then they just die out. But that's all I needed. So they can't produce any more units anymore. And I can still produce an infinite amount of units. Excellent. The 
wasps. A swarm. I only had to lose 10,000 buggos. Nice. Now give me my defender. I haven't even used the defender yet, but I might upgrade it just for fun. One extra damage. Attack range sounds pretty good. Move speed. How fast are they? Very slow. They have attack range 3.5, so they're almost as long as a turret, but they're outranged by the basic gunners. So maybe... Lowers the armor of any object they attack. That sounds pretty good. I might go for this. Attack range increase. Ooh, and an even bigger one. They attack slower. Hmm, interesting. Okay, I have a new, new, new buggo to work with. I'm gonna go to... Creepy Technology Center. And they have an open area to attack me from. They only have one spawner, though. Just well defended. Undo everything. Make bugs. Make more bugs. Wall off the area as well, just to be safer, I guess. Is that far enough out of range? Maybe. Okay, bugs are bugging. Going about their business, doing their things. They're coming to attack us, as expected. Our defender bugs. We got one defender. A robust bug that can spit acid from a distance. Range 4.5. Cool. Alright. Bug swarm. Bake a carpet. I need more <laughs> bug spawn. Uh, I might just fill this whole area with pustules, actually. Well, maybe not there. Maybe I'll get rid of those. Oh, they're out. Wow, okay, they're going for an attack on me immediately. Bust rules! Kill. Kill better. They can attack from two different angles, I guess. Which is a weird thing to do, but I suppose it's not the worst. I like that I can spit over my own walls. These are actually like based on a real bug, aren't they? These are like those like acid beetles that can spit acid at you from like, <laughs> like a couple feet away. I don't know what they're called. Bomb beetles, is that what they're called? actually need to kill these ones. There, there's no like harm from them aside from they're just kind of a nuisance. And I can't expand that direction because of them. Okay, these guys don't need to be that far forward. They just need to be far enough that they can like defend. Defender beetles are doing some proper work. They're not attacking as fast as they would like them to, but I guess that's the benefit of being ranged. Is that they can attack at a, out of range, but they're slow. They can't outrange these turrets, though, can they? No, not even close. They're definitely going to outrange everything else, I think, at, at max level. Range 3. Range 5. Yeah, it's range 4, right? Yeah, so these get, like, range 5.5 at max level. Range, at least. So, I think it still evens out to be better. There's a range on this. Five. Okay, well, we can't quite outrange that, but we're close. Some builder bugs, please. I need to start expanding my territory. I can also give everybody one extra attack damage, too. That would help. 
to like clear out bases and things. Oh, we are outranging that apparently. Somehow. I don't get it, but happy about it. <laughs> I don't really want to destroy their walls, though. Because they're currently forced to come out of the front of it. Please. Please stop destroying their walls. Please. They're forced to come out the front. Please stop destroying their walls. Okay, we're fine. This will give me the ability to, like, counter them by dealing with their wall spawns. Wall spawns? That's not what I meant to say. They'll run out this front section so I can, like, build over here and, like, blast them as they come out. They're just gonna be weird about it and like hoard around the edges instead of coming straight for me. Which is a bit stressful. Spit on them. Yes, my bugs do it. Kill. Kill with your master. So now we're spreading a bunch more goo along the ground. We can run faster and fight harder and all that. Uh, I'm not too worried about it, honestly. Like, I there's a lot of enemies in this like little spot here, and a lot of turrets too. As long as I attack from this angle, it's not such a big deal. I can probably handle them pretty well. These groupings of enemies here is kind of annoying. So maybe I'll send out some little bugs to handle them. Actually, you know what I could do is just make the, the Swarm Mothers defend the base. That way I don't have to spawn Swarmers. Because they'll just spawn them as they do, and I won't have to, like, micromanage. If they ever spawn a Swarm Mother. I wonder what the priority is on certain spawners. There you go. So that's not what I meant to do. It definitely seems to prioritize certain bugs over others. I don't know why. I want to get some wasps as well. Because they're just generally quite good, it seems like. With that extra damage they do at the first attack. If I can get my... Defensive bugs. Defensive bugs? My builder bugs. Go up through here. Be able to um, get a good run up on the enemies. I may have to build floor traps to deal with all the, the things spawning. come through that angle at all. Alright. What if I was to bust in with the wasps now? There's not very many of them, but they can attack quickly, so that's the crucial bit. Because they're fast. They won't do a lot, but they'll get in there and distract and kill. You may need titans as well. Titans for tanking, defenders for bugging. up over here again. Defender bugs I might just pull down here to hold on and defend <laughs> for a bit. Got our builders building. Gonna get lots of pustules up and running. 
add another Titan egg here for safety purposes. Lots of humans just wandering gently over my, my floor traps. I don't think the tanks can get eaten, but I sure would like it if they could. doing too badly. The one swarm mother I have is actually doing exactly what I was hoping. She's spawning enough little guys to annoy these people so they're not actually like pushing in. Okay, so wasps. We're gonna go up here this time. We'll take out these ads up here while I send these ones in here. I don't really mind them hanging out up there, but it's just going to be more enemies I have to deal with later if I don't try to deal with some of them. I want to get rid of these turrets, if nothing else. Because we're almost there. And they're annoying, because <laughs> they do a lot of damage from a long range. There we go. Okay, so now I'm not too worried. Pushing in pretty well. We're still, they're still penned into a certain location, so I could just build more floor traps here. That way if they try to leave that zone, they get eaten. Whether or not that's going to work out for me remains to be seen, but it'd be fun. Good effort. So there's dot turrets around the place too, but I feel like building those stop, stop things just like sneaking around. Swarm back here again. Fender bugs, same with you, back up. Send the uh, builders that direction. And then they'll just get eaten by random floor traps as they approach. But they can't leave that zone now, basically. Only their tanks, as far as I can tell. I'll have to look closer to make sure the tanks can't get eaten. But I'm pretty sure they can't. Oh, well... Maybe they can? They definitely died. Maybe the maybe the traps do damage to things they can't like, eat. Maybe it just hurts them. Stop killing my bugs. I'm gonna build over here. You jerk. Just rush the titans in there with the wasps. After the titans make some distance, I'll send the wasps in because they're, they're way faster. There you go. Well, maybe they're not as fast as I thought they were. Definitely faster, but not that much faster. Still got the timing a bit off. One of their buildings. Any of them? No. All right. Well, I've, I've opened up their walls now, so I have to send everybody in to deal with whatever I can deal with. If I can take out one of their buildings, we'll be all right. And it wouldn't have been a waste. Okay, we got it. Go in further. It'll also allow my builders to build the goo trails for speed, among other things. Oh, we got it. It's easy. No problem. Not a sweat. The one time you don't sleep over your Sunday stream, you're on, on Planet Zoo. I was on Planet Zoo. Um, it kept on kicking me out of franchise mode. It kicked me out like five or six times, so I just gave up. I did it for the first hour of my stream, and it just kept kicking me out. I apologize, but I didn't know how to solve the issue. It wasn't my internet, it was just something to do with the game. It kept giving me internal service errors and stuff. Yeah, so, sorry. <laughs> but I, I can't do anything about it. Next week I'm going to be playing it again. Um, if it gives me the same errors, I'm going to start a new zoo and see if that fixes it, because maybe it's based on like the number of people or something. I have no idea. 
but I was disappointed. I was I had a I had like this idea where I was gonna build like a metro tunnel to help alleviate like congestion in all of my paths. And so I started building it and then it just kept kicking me out. And <laughs> I got really sad. But Yeah. Sorry. I've been playing Planet Zoo every 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 Saturday for such a long time. It feels weird not to play it more, but kind of have to, you know. <laughs> Game's kind of yikes. The new modular shops can corrupt saves. Ooh, that's not good. I think I only have like one of those things, but if that's causing the issue, maybe I can just delete it. Swarm capacity. That's what it probably is then. Maybe. It wasn't like corrupted or anything. It was loading and I was able to play. It just kept on disconnecting me from the the live server or whatever every time. Civilian power reactor. Yeah, I was able to load into the game just fine, but I couldn't stay signed into the, the franchise service for whatever reason. But yeah, maybe that's the way. I'll, I'll try deleting that. If it still persists um, next week when I play, I will. Um, I'll try deleting the modular shop, even though I like the way it looks. And if that doesn't fix the issue, I'll try creating a new zoo. And if that doesn't work, then I have no idea how to fix it. <laughs> I'm glad I got another hive up and running, but <laughs> those things came straight for me right away. That's a bit rough. They attack really fast, too. They don't have much life, but they're outranging me by a lot, so I can't really handle them. I need a defender bugs to do them. They regenerate? No. Just have a lot of life. <laughs> it's not the best zone to like hang out in. It's like a little back area. But if they're just gonna keep on attacking me straight up, I'm gonna need to like defend myself. Their main base is like super well defended, but their 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 forward bases their attacks are also like really annoyingly well defended. There's a lot of just backup soldiers waiting to come out and blast. And my my bugs aren't gooping enough. I need more food. Which means I need to make more pustules, but I need to keep on producing units to defend me as well. I'm not sure that was a great upgrade for them. Maybe if they're fully upgraded, it's pretty strong, because the extra range is nice, but they just get massacred from a distance. Hope you have a great Xmas and Happy New Year. Yeah, you too. Thank you. It's very kind. Cancel the order on them, so they just kind of wander and do whatever. I don't need them to stay around a certain point. I just need them to, like, defend me. And they are doing that, so I'll leave them to go do that on their own time. Uh, I do want my builders to expand more, but I guess I could turn them off for now and try that. 
They use up a lot of resources. As soon as I turned them off, I got a lot more builders. If I would have done that earlier, I would have been immediately solving my issue. Okay, they're just going to wander off and kill things, which might be a good idea. It might honestly be worth just letting my bugs roam more often, so they go, like, harass the enemy so they can't, like, flank me and stuff. Okay, they're attacking up to, like, there. I need to put, like, a wall here. Alright. How much food do we have? Eh, we're pretty full up. 30 bugs and 250 builders. I could send the builders to attack. That would do some proper damage. They do they do decent damage. It's just that they're not attacker bugs. It's really hard to not accidentally destroy their walls. I wish there was a way to like forbid certain things. Like I really don't want them to attack these walls. Any of my bugs. Because as soon as those walls break, I have to deal with the entire force of the enemy. All at once. And that is very dangerous. But if we can actually push forward to destroy that base before they start spawning the marines, I think we'll be alright. Because their test of tower should kill all my bugs with no issue, so I don't think I'm worried about destroying that wall. As long as I get rid of that, okay, now back out. That's fine with me. I can go this direction and start putting down goop on the ground over here. And then also take out that one. This isn't a threat to me, but it is using space that I could use for my base. may also just like make some floor traps around the place just to protect me from like flankers when I'm not like aware of it I can't keep an eye on the entire map all at once I can I guess I could probably zoom out oh no I can't oddly have a habit of walking around the edges of the of the, the terrain, so I want to make sure I can attack them. Or stop them doing that, rather. Not attack them. Uh, I need to get, like, five range away from that, so put, like, defenses here. That'll sort of tr compel them to walk toward my traps, maybe, to destroy my walls. The traps are fundamentally invisible um, to the enemies. great, <laughs> and you love to see it. So adrenaline increased movement speed, I think, so all of my units are a little bit faster. Which is nice, but I'm not exactly sure how useful it is. I mean, it, clearly it's useful, because you can get in faster and do stuff. But with how quickly the enemies kill my bugs, I'm not sure if they actually get in close enough to do any proper damage before they get murdered off builders now. Move the builders up here. Now well, maybe I should keep the builders going, actually. I just need to destroy this section here. As soon as I blow up that building, um, all that's left is this, and that's not really much of a threat to me. I could build more floor traps along the edges here to make sure they don't, like, get out and kill me. I do have a new bug. Yeah, I have two new bugs, actually. I have wasps as well. Green bug? It's like a like a ranged artillery piece. It's a really heavily armored bug that moves really slowly, but fires at a super big range. So they just, like, blast from super far away. I kind of overproduced them. They're, they're strong, but they're not, like, the best, because they're really slow. But I was just building defensive bugs while I was trying to keep my base alive. So now I think I'm going to start sending them in. Because they outrange most of the enemy units. But not all of them. Seems to work. Yeah, true. Very much. They added... They got, like, new units in, too. So it's a good thing I got them. Because these, these guys here, which just died. These ones here are, like, really strong. All I have to do is get into that little cluster of people and destroy that building. I'll win. The wasps, wasps are able to like fly over terrain, impassable terrain, which is really nice. 
but they're also kind of squishy. So they they hit fast and hard, but they die instantly. And there's a lot of bug zappers around here. There you go. <laughs> I basically won now. Wasn't too bad. Finished off everything except this one house here, which one of my bugs is going at, so I'll leave them to it. Then that'll be everything. And then I'll go to the next level. I need some backup. I don't know why it's not killing it. It's almost dead. How much damage do you do? Two. Alright. Yay! Okay, what evolution do I want next? I think more speed on the swarmers might be good, maybe. Or more pus would be a good, pretty pretty strong, too. Building regeneration is one that I actually kind of want, because I'm just curious what that'll do for me. Spore launcher range seems pretty decent. Spore artillery, stationary attacking bug structure that shoots spores. Yeah, I might want that as well. This increases the range of my defensive structures, which I do want. So does this. And then this increases it to, like, a different thing, I think. It just turns it into something else. Ooh, returns damage is pretty cool. Regen aura I just saw. Armor for the flesh walls. Ten armor? Wow. That's really good. If I get this and the ability to regenerate my buildings, that'd be incredibly strong. Ooh, there's too many good. There's too many good upgrades. I want both of these, and I want this, and and I want this. I think maybe some health for that, and then the building generation. Those both seem pretty useful. All that's left is the simple military outpost. Oh, and this. Never mind. Simple military outpost. Let's go. Now, do I have? Oh wow. Okay, well, there's a lot of them coming, so I better hurry up and produce something. Uh, give it to that. I don't need those. A mother might help. And builder spawn, yeah. Swarmers, no. Okay, produce defenders, builders, and mothers. I'll build some pustules around the place. Once I get a mother in, I'll stop producing mothers. They didn't give me a lot of room to work with. Come on, just one mother. One swarm mother, please. I know she uses a lot of food, but I really need one. The builders turn off. Yeah, turret is really close. The map is super small, so everything's pretty close. And there's a lot of them, and none of me yet. I feel like there's going to be a rough fight. Need builders quickly, as well as defender bugs. Deal with any on oncoming threats. No, the mother bug! It ran up and it shouldn't have. I didn't build enough hives, I don't think. This might be the first mission I actually lose. Kill. Swarm. Okay. Now, oh, builders. <laughs> Please. They're, they're coming at me real fast. much choice here. First hard mission. Yeah, first, like, legitimately difficult mission at the very start, too. Like, it, it didn't even give me a chance to, like, prep. Builders are doing alright. They're not great. I need to, like, get the more, more carpet down. Um, gosh, either side's dangerous. Go this direction. Start making more defensive bugs. Okay, we're 
we're doing all right. We kind of recovered. Still a lot of them coming at me, but... As long as they're behind walls, I can outrange a lot of them. I need to build more pustules inside here. Wherever I can fit them. <laughs> they should just automatically repair those walls. And the walls do regenerate health on their own. I don't know how quickly that is, though. Provided that's what the, you know, buildings regenerate means. Ooh, there's so many of them. I can, if I can get a few more builders down, I can start to builder swarm this little outpost here. And that way I can, like get more food on the way and like get more defenses up. Because these pustules are strong, but not that good. I could get them stronger. I could make them do 5 food instead of 2.5. That would give me an incredible amount of food. But that requires an upgrade point, which I could spend on other things. I'm glad I got this, like, the flesh wall upgrades, <laughs> considering how difficult this is up there. Kill them all. Consume them. If only, if only I had the upgrade to let me use their bodies as food. Okay, now get my builders back in here. Move these bugs out to attack for now. There's a lot of enemies there and I, and I need to like thin their herd. Ideally. It's not working out very well for me, is it? No, okay. Stay back inside then. <laughs> Stay in here. Builders are building. Those guys are destroying my buildings. Which is obvious. Okay, turn off the defensive bug builder. Let's focus purely on <laughs> builder builders. It's just saying a lot of words now. Just, just words are coming out of nowhere. These tanks are so incredibly powerful. <laughs> it's super frustrating to deal with them. Uh, I might be able to build or swarm up here now. I just need a little bit more food production to do anything. So making any sort of progress is great. When they die, they splatter goop on the ground too, so... It is helpful. Now I'm producing almost enough food to switch off of the food production, tree and production, whatever it's called. These flamethrowers just really go at it every time, huh? Okay, now we, we're maxing out our cap now, so I think I should switch off of that and go to, to attack. But put on... Now, uh, we need, need the spiners. Spiners and a couple of swarm mothers. Took out most of that section up there. I don't know how useful these buildings are, but hopefully they're worth something to the enemy. Swarm Mothers can stay in the base. Defender Bugs, I'm going to have you attack, which doesn't doesn't really make your name make sense, but I need it. I need you to go over here and kill these things. I don't know if they're producing any units or anything, but I don't like that they keep on wandering over there. attack. Well, actually, the bottleneck's probably a smart thing to maintain, so maybe I should go back and try to kill before destroying their walls. These things can go up and attack here. Should probably start building more builders again. They're running out of food. I didn't mean to keep on spawning mothers. That's fine, though. I will need some more walls. defend this location a bit better now. Hmm, I could probably put my wall up to here. Delete all these and make them into pustules. <laughs> this, 
It makes like a growling noise whenever I try to put something somewhere where it can't go. It's, it's kind of funny to me, but also a little bit annoying. Uh, okay, I'm gonna send my swarmers in to like harass up here. I have a lot of them just hanging out doing nothing. It's such a dense population of enemies in there. It's gonna be really difficult to like actually deal with them. I may have to put down some more titans and deal with them, like toss those out. It costs 500 each, which is a lot of meat, but as soon as I like, get it going, it should be fun. I've noticed that I put these too close. I didn't realize they were outranging me that much. I need all those. Defensive bugs because they take too much resources. Send out all my builders to finish off those pustules. Ideally, build the walls to stop the enemies breaking through. Turn off the spiners. They're not doing anything. I am losing my defense pretty bad. I think those Titan eggs might have been a mistake. Once they finish building, they might be useful. One down. One up, rather. Just get those defensive walls in. They just ran right in and got killed. Yep, that's not surprising. <laughs> not surprising, but I'm disappointed. Okay, we've got all our walls in for the pustule stuff. I might put in some traps up here. They're not super useful, but they'll give me a little bit of extra barricades. Just send the titans in if they're gonna die like that. Might as well have them like, try to do some damage before they get killed. I don't know how you meant to do this, really. Maybe I'll delete those titan eggs, after all. A couple of them, at least. And then start producing bugs that aren't builders. I'll keep builders, too. Maybe some swarmers to be on the safe side. I think wasps would be pretty effective because I can fly them around the outside of the map. But there's so many tanks in here just hanging out that I don't think I'd be able to like do anything with them. Do attack them, please. Do a little bit of extra damage per attack. Okay, we're doing all right. We're holding them off. It's not great, but something. Swarmers aren't doing super hot. I could probably send them in to help as well. There's a lot of them and they're not doing much. Defensive bugs are defending. Not able to push forward though. And we don't have any walls here. They keep pushing out over here. I need them to stop that. I need like a wall right here to pen them in here. I'm not going to be able to build that really. Ideally, it'll get built eventually. <laughs> oh, wow. I've actually gotten quite a few kills, that one. Okay. Send the builders out this direction to go and murder these dudes. Pushing in, after all. The mother swarm up to here now. I only have two, but they're still producing. Build a wall, an, an encroachment wall, if you will. Just a wall to make it so that they <laughs> have to shoot through my units. But so they can't shoot through my units. If I have the wall, it prevents them from blasting me. Okay, we're out of food again. Gonna start making pustules. Stop making defender bugs. We got plenty of plenty of them to fight for now. Gotta move them in a bit closer. Let's do work. Let's just let the builder bugs build. Get around to it eventually. Turn off the swarmers for now. Push 
pushing in pretty aggressively, but I don't know if we'll be able to make it. You have the builders run up here, and maybe they'll put out some more goo so we can get the fast movement speed buff. Titan. I might have to stop sending the Titans straight in. And more pustules. Uh, actually, maybe some of these. If they can get in there and build them, then they'll just be really useful. Just killing random enemies. I'm just trying to exist. There we go. Now we have a constant supply of builders up the front. May also put another hive there and toss one of these hives back. Start getting more defender bugs and some bees. Wasps, rather. It's wasps I can put off in the side, then make them go around and then down. To like, because most of the defenses are like right here. If I can get them a back and around to attack from behind, maybe that'd be useful. Because they can't shoot over this terrain. Like I can't either, but I can fly over that terrain, so it might be useful to have some flankers. They're really just blasting me apart here. I do not care. <laughs> They're just going at it. I really want to get my builders up here to put more of those mouth things in, because they do they do instantly kill some of those units. Not the tanks, but the other things. I have a lot of titans. I might do a full-on attack now with the enemy or the allies I have available at my disposal. I think we can get a few things dead in there. If nothing else, we'll at least take out a tank or two. Oh, there's one of the buildings down. That's my entire swarm of uh, hornets and my wasps gone. And the defender bugs didn't make it too far, but they got a little bit of damage off, which gave my uh, which gave my builders a chance to build those those uh, traps on the ground. We'll just pop them back into defense mode for now. I'll try to attack from this angle next time. Real grind here. This one's actually kind of rough. Probably make a defensive wall here, too. Yeah, the builders aren't getting any further, so. Those tanks are really a nightmare to deal with. I have nothing that can really handle them either. I just have to, like, swarm them with numbers to beat them. They're so incredibly powerful. I'm running out of food again. <laughs> again. Okay, turn off defender bugs for now and wasps, because I need to produce builders. We're losing a lot of ground here. Does it tell me how much they actually use to produce? No, it doesn't. That's a shame. That'd be good information to have. Okay, can I go up here? Or is the black part of the map considered off limits? Oh, that's just the edge of the map. Okay, never mind then. I guess go and attack. I can't do anything else. They're just gonna get murdered if I leave them. So I can I can I can pass over rocks, but I can't seem to pass over like the edge of the map. I can't flank too aggressively, which I guess is fine for balance, but kind of sad. Stay on. Wasps. Uh, and 
Swarmers? No, no Swarmers. Swarm Mothers. Probably okay. That'll produce a ton of enemies for the... Oh, a ton of allies. I can just send all of them in at once, because these Titans are ready to go. They've been ready for a while. This will do a lot of damage, provided they all get in there and do some proper work, but... Turn off Builders. So. They're gonna give us a little bit more speed over here. Nice. This is actually a rough mission. It wasn't too hard once I got, like, the foothold, but the very start was, like, scary. Nice. Okay, now we just gotta destroy that other building and we'll be fine. Okay, we're good. Now we win. I just have to let my, my bugs clean up. There you go. Almost 10,000 bug casualties. Just perfectly fine. It's not even the hardest mission of this area yet. Alright, what did I want? I wanted to get the better walls, I think. The flesh wall armor. Yeah, 10 armor for my walls. That just sounds great. Titan. Grow spiked carapace. They get more health. Even more health. And they regenerate? Buggos nearby the Titan will slowly regenerate. Oh, interesting. Sometimes when you kill a human, they will spawn, be infested with swarmer larvae. Oh, that sounds amazing. Influence? It's, um... How closely they follow my orders. Because I can, I can put down, like, pins in the map, so it's how close they gather around the pin. Which is probably very useful, but, <laughs> you know, I'd rather a lot of other things. So... Swarm Mother spawns two swarmers at a time instead of one. Three instead of one. More influence. It's all pretty good. What about the uh, wasps? They spawn swarmers when they die. That's pretty good, actually. Wasp eggs will be laid out in mass in hexagonal chambers, increasing efficiency of egg-laying resources. They cost half as much nutrients. That's pretty strong. Uh, I might have to build, like... Might get the um the more pus, which is a gross thing to say. But this thing gives me more resources for my 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 nutrient pods. My pustules, if you will. I think that's probably gonna be beneficial to me. <laughs> Alright, look. I, I already I already told you what happened. It's fine. Military weapon facility. It's it's outside of my control. I could have just ended the stream, but I just chose to switch to a different game. Okay, they have their roots of attack. There's a lot of military buildings this time. Alright. Need these walls up as soon as possible, I think. It's gonna get a bit rough soon. Could have drawn a planet with a zoo on it. So are those actually getting damaged? Yeah, they are. Okay. Stop it! I didn't even like spawn properly yet. I was just building walls. I could have drawn a zoo planet. If I was more creative, maybe I would have thought of doing something like that. <laughs> but I'm not particularly creative. Stop attacking me. There's so many enemies already. Luckily, my walls are. Like more defensive now. I only draw what the client wants. Yeah, basically. Is that there's nothing wrong with that? Okay, 
that's actually getting attacked by the turret. I don't want that. Close that wall. Eat that one. Eat these ones. That's just a waste of bug lives <laughs> to send them after those. I need more defensive bugs. I need more range on my defensive uh, turrets. Need one Titan egg? No, I don't have enough yet. Soon. Not yet. Even the furries, especially the furries. Yeah, well, they pay a lot. They, <laughs> you know, it's, it's hard to, you know, talk down on it. Like, when you, when they make up, like, 90% of your paycheck. I used to not draw for furries, and I, I wasn't able to make a living off of what I do. <laughs> now I can afford to eat and pay rent. Sort of. <laughs> well, most of the time. I think you mentioned that during the American Truck stream in Las Vegas? Maybe. Hard to remember what I say when I say it. A lot of words that come out of this mouth. Some of them make more sense than others. I want the wasps down here. Uh, I was not. There's like the thing is like these choke points are really strong for them, but as soon as I take them, they're strong for me too. <laughs> the problem is taking them is difficult. This will work out pretty well. These bugs are really strong. I'm going to turn on attack modes. So they do more damage. Um, ideally, we'll be able to push in here. I don't think... Well, maybe. I don't think we'll be able to reach that building, but we will be able to do some damage. I'm also going to fill this with pustules. This whole area here. I was thinking about building the Titan eggs in here, but I want to make sure this bird is producing enough food to... Well, I guess we have enough food. Make some Titan eggs. Those are kind of a nuisance, but I'm not too worried about it. We're producing builders. They'll do some work. Our defense bugs are having trouble, so we're going to send in the wasps. They'll also do some work for me. Go, wasps, go! Kill! <laughs> wow, they didn't do much. I guess they distracted a bit. Back. Back. Builders. Swarmers. Wonder why they refer to it as nutrient goo instead of Zerg creep. Well, I think that's probably self explanatory. doing work. That's how goo it is. And I need the defender bugs to go back out and attack again. Nice. The, the swarmers are actually pretty efficient when you're struggling. <laughs> I haven't even upgraded them. They're like base level. Okay, wasps are looking good. Ooh, I can send the wasps up to here. There's a lot of dead enemies up there. So there's, that's like basically just free from taking because they go fast. Fender bugs are fine. Go, wasps, go! Kill! Nice, immediately got them. I'll get up there and finish off those guys too. I may even be able to push all the way up to here, flying over the terrain. Because there's not a whole lot of defenders up here in this corner. Being able to destroy this building would be a real boon. Yes. I'll kill everything. 
flankers are real. Alright. That didn't work out. I mean, it worked out great, but didn't finish it. Uh, the Titans can try to rush up here with the defenders. The swarmers can run over here now. I'm going to send builders up here to create walls there, and ore traps as well. They killed all of my bugs, I can see. It isn't great, but it is what it is, I suppose. You dream creep. It's what plants crave. It's got electrolytes. God, these things take so much damage from the, the, the tanks. They only do two damage, which is, like, not great. They can outrange most units, but they only do two damage. I'm making plenty of food now. Uh, I may push up to here and try to swoop around and take them out. Those tanks are really a nightmare to deal with, but if I can get some extra walls here, I can probably handle them pretty well. Those walls are there, but they're not going to be that useful. I decided it was too far to run. It was causing more problems. Uh, swarm is looking good. Just keep it going for a bit longer. Okay, now attack all. We'll go in there and try to blast them out of the way with overwhelming numbers. There we go. This is looking better. These flamethrowers are a nightmare, but... I've got a lot of wasps, and they're really fast. So that's another base destroyed. Need to build a wall here now. There's enemies there that I can't push past. They're pushing down the center, which is fine, because I still have the advantage, technically. And anything more that spawns will just go straight over there to attack. Which isn't perfect, but I think I can take out this building before I have to pull back again. Yeah, there we go. Can I run over here? Build a wall across here. <laughs> you know, just to stop them. Get rid of defender bugs and swarmers and wasps. Nah, actually keep the, the defender. Actually, we got a lot of them. We'll be okay for a bit. Oh, my wall got destroyed. Somehow. Okay. I can probably, I might be able to rush in there and just kill them, but... You know, try it. I suppose. Didn't hurt. I can also pull my hives up here. This is a really bad way to go with that, but whatever. I just win without even trying. There we go. Now we got some builders up there. Don't need them all the way down here. They'll do work. The, <laughs> the old builder swarm. Yeah. Nice. Entering area five. Wow. Well, all right. What should I upgrade next? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I could increase my swarmers to make them actually better. They're kind of bad right now, but they are very strong. Like, for early game. And they really, they really were clutch in that last one. I can get more movement for them. Make them go way faster. And give them more guidance. Might be strong. Or I could get... The starting nutrients might be useful. Just give me a bunch of bugs all at once. Increase the sw swarm capacity. I don't use the ranged things at all. The spiners, I never use them. I probably should, because it seems like they might be pretty good. Or reductive juices into the hive. Duplicate spawns for free. That might be useful early on. 
It gets to a point where it like becomes easy to spawn things, but at the very start, it's kind of rough. Faster movement, more damage, armor shredding is pretty good. Spawn more enemies at once, or more allies at once. I'm calling them enemies. I think wasp infestation seems pretty strong. I kind of want that. Oh, the other ones over here. Oh, right, there was um. Oh, where was it? Spore artillery. That's what I wanted. So spore launchers have more range. Now I get spore artillery as well. More defensive structures. So 4 out of 10, 3 out of 10, 2 out of 10. High security outpost. I wonder why they say 2 out of 10. This is definitely going to be really difficult. No way it's going to be a 2 out of 10 difficulty. Hey, look at that. I don't even know what this is. A laser generator. <laughs> a device that periodically fires a high-powered laser that only affects buggos. How rude. Oh, we're shooting it. It only fires it forward. I'm not too worried about it. But I can't stop the bugs from walking into it. Spore artillery. Ooh, that's big. wonder how much it takes to produce. My spawner's on the go. Because <laughs> we're going to start getting attacked soon. It's a perfect place to put all these floor traps. Spread out over this direction. Just get a million pustules down here so I can get lots of tasty spawn. Being attacked again, how dare you. Can't you see I'm spawning pustules? Builder Swarm! Kill! You can't stop us! Ooh! I guess that's my artillery shooting. Don't know what it's doing, but it's cool. Spore artillery can shoot over long range to destroy dirty humans from afar. Nice. Does that mean they're just gonna start attacking me? Like, randomly? Because I'm able to, like, outrange them or whatever? Does that mean they can get artillery at some point, too? Maybe. So maybe I want more artillery. It'd be fun. Put another one right here. Why not? <laughs> if it works, it works, right? Dude, how much damage does it do? Six damage. Wow. Attack range 24. Holy crap. Wow. Look at that attack range. Everything is coming to kill me, but it's got good range. Shame I can't choose where it attacks, but it's still pretty good. Okay, give it to all them. I don't need them anymore. Defender bugs probably going to be useful. What is the range of my turrets now? I can't really see them. I'm kind of stuck under the, <laughs> the mass of bugs here. That's cool. I like it. Go! Move in! Kill! Attack! Massacre! <laughs> just for no reason. Does the artillery hit the entire map? I think it, it does. It hits the entire map. These things are broken. They're way too strong. These things have range 6.5 now. 
So they can outrange even these guys, I think. Yeah. So my, my actual turrets can outrange those guys, so I can actually put, like, a wall in front of my turrets now. Okay, they've, they've decided to clap back. I'm a little bit... I'm struggling a bit to do damage now. Guess I'll back up and send in the, uh, the swarm to attack this one here. I can jump over buildings! Well, they got distracted, but good effort. If they hadn't have decided to attack all these buildings and go straight for this, I would have gotten that out of their one. It's fine. Okay, just, can I just, like, move everything? Just like, Can I, like, cancel everything and move it all back here? I don't want my titans to just keep running to their death over and over again. I've got a lot of defenses right now. I don't need to post up right now. I might delete this. Put a wall there instead. Ooh, there sure is a lot of them, huh? Okay, builders can run up here. Defenders can, like, hang a little bit closer. I'm not making any mothers, because I don't have any buffs on the mothers yet. I can send the swarm over here again to try and push in to destroy that building now that there's no other buildings to distract them. There we go, we got it. So no more reinforcements from that side. We'll get the swarm over here next. The defenses are okay. And the artillery is kind of fun, but it's not nearly as strong as it seems. If I built more, because it does kill a lot of enemies at once, but... It fires very slowly, and I can't choose where it fires. It's just kind of whittling things away slowly over time, which is good, but if I had more of them, it'd be better. I've already established that they're quite powerful. It doesn't hurt to have a few more. Bugs don't fight fair, do they? I can't be outranged. So I may as well use that to my advantage. Okay, the swarm's looking pretty good. I'm going to move in with the defensive bugs and the titans and the swarm at the same time. Here. Just to take out some of these buildings so I can start clearing out the area so I can actually go in and attack that proper building later. There we go. Back down. Prepare. Oh, nice. We got in. I can just send everything over here now. Builder Swarm. Finish my artillery. We're just getting, like, tons of artillery now. The good thing they can't let you level these up, because they they feel like they're pretty exploitable. You fools. You've been distracted by my decoys. Now the wasps will come. Didn't work out very well, but... Distracted. You can't say you weren't distracted. Okay, no more builders. I'm gonna send the builders swarm over here now. I'm gonna get a wall here and a wall here. A bunch of turrets here and here. Probably don't need these, of course, but. I couldn't hurt to have them. Just an extra little bit of staging ground for my assault. Bee swarm's ready to go again. Whee! Okay, all the all the, all the bees done is just like flank attack <laughs> over and over. It's working out really well. Uh, everything's dead here. Where we won. Just need to finish off these last couple of buildings on this side. That'll be that one done. It was pretty easy, considering it was a one star. I guess it makes sense, or a one difficult thing. There you go. 
I only lost a cool three and a half thousand buggos. No big deal. Uh, so we're looking for gross residential compound next. All right. What am I going to level up this time? Titans are good, but I don't use them that often. I think I'd want to increase my regular ones. My regular spawners. The boom slug and the warrior might be kind of fun. What does the warrior do? Allows spawning of the warrior. It's a medium armored bugger with high life and damage. Might be worth doing. Feels like I probably should specialize more into like one of these instead of just a little bit of everything. Like wasps are pretty strong. I've been using them a lot, so maybe I should go for their like infestation ability so they just drop a bunch of swarmers on the ground. Then I should probably bo boost the swarmers by increasing their speed down here later. Most residential compound incoming. Uh, they do have... Oh, that's not so bad. Oh, oops, everything except... Yeah, there you go. Builders. Uh, we're going to put down pustules immediately. Where's their turrets? Right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't think they can be able to shoot that far, but maybe they can. I'll build here just in case. Then more hives. And maybe an artillery piece for fun. <laughs> just to blast. You know, as a as a joke. I actually don't need that one there. That one's too far away to matter. I'll put it delete that, put it here instead. A little bit of damage coming out. Builders will just do their thing. I don't need to force them to build. Put down some more stuff. Here. Put down two Titan eggs for future. It's not going to be useful very for right now. It's also going to be kind of detrimental because it'll use up a lot of my nutrients. Uh, then I might build another wall here once I get rid of those. Let me build some of these, actually. Kill anything that like like swarms over here. Oh, they can't shoot through those walls actually, so this would be beneficial to me. Making a wall here and having like backup attack. There you go. Perfect. Already making ton of food. Probably I could start producing wasps already. Just get them going and then I'll just rush into here and blast everything. They drop swarmers now too, so... Probably pretty sweet. Uh, go ahead and rush the builder bugs. Let them all die. <laughs> Spread their, their speed goo. Their nutrient creep. the wasps populate the planet. I'll just bust right in here and drop tons and tons of enemies on top of them. You never know what hit them. Go! Also dropping all the swarmers too, so we're getting like extra damage in. Their entire town wiped out in like a fraction of like uh, like like less than ten seconds. Completely done for. Still have two more spawners up here, but I can't do anything about that. But they lost some some good 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 staging ground back here. Some good positioning. So now I'll just back out of here and hang out back this direction. Keep my swarmers to hang out in there and harass for a bit. Still building builders, but I might remove them and start putting in defensive bugs. Here. I might also increase artillery. There. Two more of these. And then some more pustules. Builders actually do need to exist, because we're taking a lot of uh, 
damage to our walls. Since the, the since the tanks can outrange us by quite a lot. Go. Kill the tanks quickly. Honestly, the bugs are living a little bit better than I thought they would, so it might be worth trying to push through. Do some damage. Yeah, we got rid of the Tesla Towers pretty effectively. Jeez, those, why are my wasps so good? They're really strong. Like, <laughs> like I guess because they're just so fast. They get a lot of, like, extra damage from their, like, attack that they do. When they rush forward, they do, like, extra damage. I'm gonna click on a wasp, please. Please, a wasp, just one wasp. There you go. <laughs> 7 health, 2 damage, plus 3, so it gives him 5 damage. Move speed 3.5. Yeah, they're just strong. Okay, we'll move the wasps back to here. I'll, I'll build them back up and then send them all in at once again later. The artillery bombardment isn't doing much. It's really strong against people, but it's bad against buildings. I'm not sure if they can repair their own buildings or not. But it doesn't seem to do much against buildings. It does kill them eventually, clearly. But it's definitely, it's immediately obviously effective against humans. Not producing anywhere near enough, like, food to maintain our current, like, existence. the defender bow and send in the wasps to harass. Because they they just fly right over that mountain and do some proper damage. The Titans can also go in. I have a lot of a few of them just stacked up waiting to do whatever. The builders will get the defenses up, so I have a little bit more room to attack. Wasps are doing great. Artillery's doing fine. Okay, turn off them. I might, I might grab some others too, actually. I should probably turn on the attack damage boost as well. Oh, we win anyway. I don't even need to. I don't even need to like strategize. We're just gonna win. Just finish them off with artillery. The wasps, the bees. What do I want next? I guess maybe it's worth leveling wasps even more, but I don't want to specialize into one thing too much because then I feel like if it gets countered, I won't be able to do anything. Grants the Overmind a power up to increase the bugo move speed, so all bugs get faster. That's pretty strong. More damage for the defenders. Armor strip might be strong. Buggos die, get more nutrients back. Attack speed's faster for all bugs, and bugs take half damage from radiation. I don't know what radiation is yet. I haven't come across that, so I don't need that, probably. All buggos gain one armor is pretty strong. All buggos gain one damage is pretty strong. Buggo would take lethal damage. There's a 10% chance they survive with one health. I kind of want that. That sounds pretty strong. Can I grab it? Oh, extra two to all Buggo health would have been strong too. But now they have a chance to not die. So that just gives them an extra like chance to attack one time. Alright. Now we go to Pathetic Fusion Reactor. Well, I guess I'm probably going to get radiation here, huh? What do we got? Maybe these lasers do radiation damage. Oof, there's a lot of them, huh? Okay, well, luckily they've blocked themselves off, so... <laughs> actually, I know exactly what I'm gonna do. It's, it's, it's wasp song. This is gonna be the wasp horde again. They've just left themselves completely undefended. To wasps, specifically. The sooner I get them built and going, sooner I can get some proper damage. 
They can't push past their own barriers, as far as I'm aware. I assume these are like solid defensive walls, like structures they can't walk past. So I have plenty of chances to wipe them out. find out for sure. That's to build, buggo build. How big is this map exactly? So, there's a lot of these fusion reactor things. What is that? Oh, I thought it was like a flame, oh, like, a, like a floating guy. Just a flamer. There will be a point when the wasps aren't effective. There's clearly a ton of turrets around. They're not going to be very good against those. I struggle with those, actually build here to, that we know where the wall is when they're not firing. I can also just build a bunch of artillery for fun. You know, what's more fun than artillery, right? Okay, we got a bunch of... We got <laughs> a bunch of bugs on the go. Get my defense... Get my, uh, my builder bugs to do stuff. I need to send the other bugs that I don't want here they get zapped. I don't want to accidentally destroy those because I need to make sure I have the defense line. Yeah, I'm making a lot of food now. I should be alright. And we got, we got some artillery up and running. So we're going to swap from Purely builders, so wasps and builders. Wasp, I'm gonna have them gather right here. Once they get populated, I'm gonna send them straight in to destroy. But it looks like bugs, the, the, the builder bugs, need to be restricted a bit because they're sort of just all over the place. could build more artillery as a joke. There's like all the artillery <laughs> I could possibly build for fun. I don't know what it uses to fire. It might it might just like use nutrients to fire or something, which would be a bad idea. The <laughs> front motive is so much. Did I hit the limits on artillery? <laughs> Maybe because it won't build anymore. It likes just refusing to build more. So what is that? Six, nine, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen the limit? Maybe. Just to beat these. Since they don't seem to want to build anymore. That's fine. I, that's kind of broken. Glad there's a limit. Go wasps, go! not the incredibly loud wing beats of a th like thousand wasps in the distance. Giant wasps are just in the way. I guess those skulls are my bugs dying but not quite dying. The extra bonus chance to not die. Also, look at all these swarmers. So many swarmers. Holy crap, they went over my population cap by a ton. God, <laughs> that went really well. All right, I guess I'll just have the the bees hang out over here for a while. Let's get ready to attack elsewhere. After that incredibly successful assault, these people are just stuck here forever. They can't even attack. I'm not worried about them at all. I mean, I can't, I can't go further out. Like, I I, I can't build anywhere out here. But I can just get a million like, bees to <laughs> just, just kill everything. My artillery's doing work. That's something. 
Yeah, I think I'm just one, basically. If I just move the bees up to here, and then like attack over this wall, I think they'll probably just kill everything. The bees! The bee swarm! Oh my god, they're dying super fast. But they are pushing in. Like, <laughs> they're not, like, losing. They win. I, w I won the map. <laughs> These bees are so strong. I, I won so quickly. That's why you never mess with wasps. They sting you. Now what? I guess I just sort of... <laughs> I guess I just sort of do it again. These things can only shoot one direction, so I can just avoid... I can just attack them from behind, basically. And allowing my bugs to sometimes not die is really strong. Go, my wasps, go! Destroy all the laser towers! We do not fear your lasers. The only thing that awaits the enemies of the Bug Lord is death. We do not subjugate. Destroy. They've got to have like a direct counter to bugs. <laughs> like there's no way they don't have a direct counter to those wasps. They're way too strong. Thousand bug casualties, which I think is mostly going to be the the swarmers that I spawned from the wasp corpses. Pretty good. Pretty, str pretty strong. Oh man, I <laughs> I kind of want them more. They're really good. Uh, increased speed for all bugs is pretty strong. I do want that. Wasp influence isn't that useful. It doesn't need it. Extra armor, be strong. Radiation damage might be strong as well, because I, I maybe radiation is just the lasers. I'm not too worried about the lasers. I also really do want to get the warriors. It seems like fun. Razor spines just gives every bug an extra one damage, so why wouldn't I, right? Seven ten, six ten, five ten. Human government capital. We got. Uh, okay, they're penned in. I'm not worried about it. They will have some defenders attacking me, but mostly I'll be all right. Hmm. Well, I don't have much room to work with. As soon as they like walk around this corner, they get shot at. Swarmers are taking most of the population, it looks like. So I have to, like, remove them from the, <laughs> the queue and let the, the builders swarm. Go! Kill it! Quickly! I might delete these and move them up to here instead. Provided they can't shoot those at that angle, they might be able to, looking at that. I would hope not, but I think they might. No, it seems okay. Annoyingly, they have a tank right there, so I can't just, like, deal with it. Swarm! Swarm 
I going to do? I can build along the bottom edge here. And I'll have to get to there. I don't want to break them out yet, but they have a layered defense, so they can't attack me at, like, huge amounts at a time. I'll be okay for a bit. As long as I don't bust down too many walls in a row, I should be fine. Builders expanding, giving me more, more creep goo will help a lot. wall. I don't want them to do that, but they're doing it. Okay, I'm gonna need some more of these. I could build another wall to defend myself, but I don't think I need to. I think we're pretty much as far out as we can get without getting killed. So I'm gonna start producing bees, clearly. The best mob. Have all my builders just rush over here to try and <laughs> give us more speed, I guess. Or just destroy that building if they can make it. That'd be fine with me, too. Once the wasps spawn up a storm over here, I'll turn on attack mode and then just send them in to destroy everything. Nice. Builder bugs are strong. Alright, attack mode turn on, and wasps go for it. Kill. Yep, this <laughs> is pretty pretty far for the course. Don't destroy that wall. Oh, too late. No. That's okay. We destroyed the spawn point in this area, so there'll be no more reinforcements from there. Now we have a wasp back over here. Let's send the swarmers up to defend. Builders are still trying to get over there to put more goo down, but I could probably use them up here now. Uh, give me some traps along this whole area. Do some spore launchers for fun. Uh, nah, I don't need to defend myself. How far is the range? 24? It's way further than 24. I could build them like here, along this edge wall, and that would just blast them from inside. Pre-plan those, I guess. What later? Wasps are ready to go. Begin mission. Whee! They fly. So good. They're so strong. <laughs> Yeah, I need you to go over here and before destroying that wall, please. Oh, well, never mind. Good effort. Hey, builder bugs, head on up there, please. I need you to build bug. I need to build thingies here, too, actually. That's probably more important. Give me some hives up here. off the wasps completely so I get more builders going because I really need my builders to be building <laughs> before it's too late. side too apparently. That's unfortunate. It's here. It's here. Once they finish building there. Put a bunch of floor traps here as well. Just for fun. Kill! 
stop them. Oh, nice. Gotta eat them. <laughs> Even the Builder Swarm is pretty strong. Like, with the extra, like, armor, the chance to not die, and the extra damage I just got a bit ago. Like, they're <laughs> pretty formidable, like, <laughs> like, properly. I'm not too worried about losing. They do still get killed pretty quickly by the stronger enemies, but mostly they're quite good. The wasp swarm ready to go. Rush in there and blast. Builders are slowly making progress in there. Getting those, uh, some of those floor traps up. Hey, wasps, go attack these hordes of tanks. And go up and get in there. The swarmers, which you're already doing. Excellent news. Ooh, yep. That's certainly, <laughs> that's certainly a tactic. And I can reduce their resource cost by half, too. Like, holy crap. The <laughs> bees are broken. I'll also increase their speed, too, which I haven't done for whatever reason. Looks like I haven't needed, I suppose. Couldn't hurt, though. Way nice. Okay, what do I want? The radiation resistance might be nice. I don't think I need it though. I, ha I haven't needed it yet. I probably won't need it anytime soon. Did I get the max? Increase both of those. There you go. More, more swarm capacity. Inferior human religious site. Yes. We got okay attacks there, attacks there. They actually left their defenses open this time, so they can actually fight me. Right, give me two more hives. Little pustules everywhere else. Get some walls up here and here. Some spore launchers, both sides. Turn off every bug that isn't the builder. slowly produce stuff that I need to not die. Ideally, it'll build faster than they go. I guess I could build more pustules just to increase spawn rates. Because as soon as they start to snowball out of control, we're good. I don't need them up there. Or down here. I'm going to use those for artillery, which is not crucial, so I'm not going to build it yet, but it'd be nice. Ah, damn it. Go, build, defenses. We have no defenses on that side. Hurry. Stop murdering. Build defenses. <laughs> Thank you. I know you're bloodthirsty. We all are. Okay, we're good. We got it. Now, if you'll excuse me, artillery. quick. And they're that that angle they have on me is really annoying. <laughs> hey Michi. You're not new. Hello. End of my stream. Let's see, friends, I'm nearly done.
It may as well be new with how many streams you miss. Nah. It's okay to miss streams. Always pleased to see you here. Now my wasps will destroy this base instantly. As a joke. Put up a little bit of resistance, but we got it in the end. It's pretty easy. Ooh, there's a lot of soldiers up there. Uh, today was meant to be Planet Zoo Day, but Planet Zoo was giving me a hard time and it wouldn't like work, so I couldn't. So I'm playing this again. It's fun. And surprisingly chill despite the chaos. Yeah, Merry Christmas Eve, yeah. To you as well, thank you. I believe I am in the same time zone. But who knows, it's a mystery. I am wherever the moon is, at any given time. Probably. Something like that, who knows. There's so many wasps, <laughs> just send them right up here and win. Go, wasps, go! Kill! Maim! Sting! Uh, bite! I don't, I don't know what else... What, venom! Venomize! It's easy. No. <laughs> it's like, the wasps are so incredibly broken. They're so strong. They must have a like an, an alternative like defensive strategy for them. Sounds like Time Lord shenanigans. Ooh, maybe. Who knows? I really need to finish watching Doctor Who. And last, I got up to like the the, the first season that um, Jodie Whittaker takes over, and the cinematography uh, is so different to the rest of the series that it's kind of hard to watch at first. But I really want to watch it because I like I like Doctor Who a lot. The bees. Rather than you, you gave up on the start of the Doctor prior to her. Oh, Peter Capaldi. It makes me kind of sad because I I really liked Peter Capaldi's Doctor, but he's so incredibly different to the other Doctors. I understand why people don't like him because it really changes the tone of the show. But I think he's a very good Doctor. He was also really excited to be the Doctor too. He loved Doctor Who, so he was really excited to play Doctor Who. And then they gave him like the most serious Doctor, and it's so sad. Nutrients for each buggo that dies is pretty strong. I kind of want faster... Wa I just want to upgrade my wasps. They're so good. <laughs> I want the warrior, though. That's one of the things I've been trying to get to. Let's do the warrior. And should I just upgrade their... They lose move speed, but they gain a lot of armor and health. They gain move speed, but they l gain health as well. More move speed. More health. Hunkered down and tighten their chitinous or chitinous plating. Much reduction has no minimum. Ooh. So they can actually just not take damage. That sounds amazing. The ability to just not take any damage at all is fantastic. Affluent human city. New Christmas special this year, though. Broken into four parts on Disney Plus. Wow, jeez. Is it particularly long, or is it they just do that for some reason? <laughs> okay, something's different about this map. I don't trust it. Why is it so... strange? Feels easy. I'm wondering if these buildings are related to spawn caps. Because if they are, then that's going to be a lot of humans spawning on top of me in this mission if I don't hurry. Uh... Toggle all these, keep the warrior bugs going, because it'll be fun, I'm sure. Oh, just got shot. Uh, 
uh, delete these. Give me turrets here, here, here. Defend that section. They move up pretty far, so I'm gonna put some carnivorous traps here to save me. <laughs> Didn't need them. Excessive. Got out of hand. Okay, I can't go past this because this is where the wall like ends. Can build up to that point apparently. That means I can build artillery here and here and there and probably there too. Brought Tannen back for it and uh, Dr. Donna. Oh, that's fun. Donna Noble was another one that people didn't like very much, which I was kind of sad about, because I thought she was very fun. I thought she was a fun, silly doctor uh, companion. Yeah, I agree. She's great. But some people don't like her. I don't know why. I guess because she's like... Talks back a lot, maybe? I don't know. She's very snarky. Maybe people don't like that. I don't get it, but... I think it's. I think she's great. These guys just do not want to, like, let me build... I suppose it makes sense. I wouldn't want to let the bug overlord build either. Oh, we lost all of our warriors, because I'm not producing more. But, we can start producing wasps. <laughs> yes, the wasps. I might even send my builders out to try and, like, build those artillery pieces. And those extra walls. There you go. Walls are built. Get some of these in there. Maybe. Honestly, I could just go straight down there and blast. We got a lot of just free space to run down here and attack. Provided they don't get gunned down by the six turrets and the laser beams. They have a lot of speed, though, and they drop units on death, so it should be alright. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Look at that, just right in. Right into it and blasting away, and just destroying the entire city on their own. The wasps are so strong. Funny a Christmas special for you into Doctor Who and Christmas special, right? Or I might get you back into it. Really? Which Christmas special got you into Doctor Who? See if I can remember which one's which, <laughs> I guess. This. We're just kind of pushing forward. <laughs> Unstoppable tide of bees. Yeah, give us a little break to regenerate our bee swarm. Get some more eggs down. Or pustules, rather. Gross pustules. I could build a bunch down here. They're not going to stop me. They can try. It was a decade ago. Yeah, that makes sense. The first time I ever saw Doctor Who was with my grandmother. It was the first Doctor Who episode that was available, like, in the remakes, the, the one with Christopher Breckleston. They're fighting the mannequins. That's how I got into Doctor Who, which is kind of just pretty normal, but my grandmother loved the old Doctor Who. Um, when the new one came out, she was really excited for it, so we watched it together. Go! It's 
sting them all. Devour their insides. Feast on their skulls. You know, all those things. Wear their heads as hats. Wear their rib cages and jewelry or something. I don't know. Do something gross. For bugs. I'm getting kind of tired, so I'm kind of running out of things to say. He goes when he ran into himself. Oh. Maybe. Was that a Christmas special? I can't remember. Okay. Cool. Doctor Who has a lot of weird episodes. I can't remember all of them either. <laughs> but I like them. I like Doctor Who so much. It's like, I, I tried to get so many of my friends into Doctor Who. And so I've seen, like, the first, like, three seasons, like, <laughs> five or six times. I still like it. But, boy. It's weird, like, going past that stage and not knowing what's going to happen. Like, or not remembering, because you're so used to the other ones. <laughs> The swarm of bees has won me the day. I may just let the artillery take this guy out. Find his hardest. Will he make it? Will he be able to destroy that wall? The time will tell. He's doing his hardest. Trying his best. Oh, there he goes. Poor human. Tragic. <laughs> All right, I guess I'll use my last level up points, and I'm gonna head off. I think. Uh, what is what is what is all this? Oh, that's right, the stats. I wish I knew what waiting meant. It says waiting 35, but I don't know what that means. Builders are peaceful. I don't want that. I keep seeing it, and just keep forgetting about it. Um, builder influence. Don't need that. Titan increase would be nice, but I don't use the Titan that much anymore. Also, this one, hunker down, making it so they just can... There's just, like, a minimum... Or, like, there's no minimum to the damage resistance. Seems fantastic. Corrosive chemicals. Buggos are able to digest nutrients into acidic liquids. All buggos killed do two damage to the tile they die on. Wow. Three damage. Wow. Two extra health to all bugs. Cool, so when they die, they just drop poison everywhere. Awesome. Well, then... I guess that would be it for me. It was a two-part, the day of the Doctor and the time the Doctor aired on Thanksgiving. Day 2013. Day of the Doctor. Day of the Doctor. It's Day of the Doctor. Is that the one where he met the like old man? <laughs> yes, okay. That makes sense. That's a good one. That's a good episode. A good Christmas special, I guess. 50th anniversary? Yeah, they have the, the original, one of the original Doctor Who's, like the only one left alive, I think, that in, inside, I guess, starring in that episode. Yeah, that's a really good one to start on very impressive like like the uh if that's the one you got into it on because that one's pretty far into the series and it's like I, i'm not it's not to say that it's not like um what is it like it's a uh, it's hard to for me to like imagine getting into it so far into the series because i always like to watch things from the beginning but seeing something like like the day of the doctor is so like such an interesting idea because it's so weird and different but it, it gives like a good example of like the all-encompassing sort of air of the entire show in it like it has like the the time travel aspects it has him meeting himself weird paradoxes it gives him like a good like idea of like the time wars and all that it's a good episode it's very good i like it a lot 
<laughs> anyway. It's your special. It has the same feeling. Oh, that's great. I like, Well, I, I will try to see if I can get a hold of it and see if I can't see it on uh, Disney. What's it? Disney Plus, right? If I have a little bit of extra income, I'll try and check it out. But, um, yeah, I'm going to head off. So, um, take care. Streaming tomorrow tonight? Yeah, I'm streaming. I don't, I don't, I don't celebrate holidays, really. Not for any reason, just because my family never really has. Um, so, it's not more, it's more just like a normal day for me. So, I'll probably just play whatever. I'll probably play, like, American Truck Simulator tomorrow, most likely. Um, but yeah, I'll be streaming tomorrow. Or today, tonight, whatever. Yeah, take care. Um, have a good rest of your night, day, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is for you. If you're awake, you'll see me there. All right. Cool, yeah. I'll see you if you're awake. If not, don't worry about it. Take care. Bye-bye.